I want to talk about this uh, this guy. Been hearing about him more and more. Leonard Potter. Yeah. He uh. You probably know who he is. He's this guy who, uh, who runs the System D situation. Top man in that uh, that project. You know, you know. A lot of people didn't know too much about him for a while, but then uh, then he showed up at this conference. There was a there was a man on stage. Uh, he had a beard, and the you know the man on stage had the beard, and he was trying to you know, just trying to give a speech. You know, he's talking about uh, you know audio on uh, GNU Linux, or however you pronounce it. <clears throat> a lot of people just say Linux, uh, but uh, most of the programs aren't the kernel, so we have to, because there's a new thing coming around called System D Linux, a core OS, but eventually it'll just be called System D Linux, then System D. But anyway, he, uh, <clears throat> guy was trying to give a speech, and 60% of the speech, Mr. Leonard Potterin, completely destroyed. I don't mean destroyed as in logically destroyed. I mean, he just talked over everyone because some fucking piece of shit gave him a microphone. Who the fuck? See, you, you, you go to a conference, you take your, your time out of your day, you're not making money that day. And you go to the conference, you know, just talk to people and give a presentation, be up on stage. You know, you made, the guy made all these PowerPoint things. Uh, or whatever, whatever program he was using, who knows. So, he, you know, he put all the effort in, you could see he, he was like, he was happy, you know, just to tell everyone what he was talking about. And he starts going through the slide, he gets the second slide. Uh, maybe the third, if we're counting the, you know, the title slide. Then this fucking, this piece of shit comes in and he feels like he has to dominate this, this guy. This, you know, the guy's, you know, you know, he likes his food, he, uh, you know, has a beard, you know. And he likes, you know, keeping his job so he can have some money. So he's limited on what he can do. I mean, you know, if it, the money wasn't an issue, you know, <laughs> you know, Mr. Leonard Potterin would have kept his mouth shut. Because Potterin is like, he's, he's not that big. He's not a big guy. He's just, he's just you know, kind, of, kind of little guy. Kind of, could probably be uh, taken out real easy. So then Mr. Lamp Potterin just interrupts this guy. Basically tells him off. Everyone knows that Pulse Audio, unless you desire for some reason... To broadcast whatever's going into your microphone or whatever is going through your speakers to the whole world. And I don't know anyone who really wants to do that. They'll use Shoutcast if they want to do that. But if that's what you want, then there you go, Pulse Audio. But otherwise, Pulse Audio, it pretends that it's, uh, you know, sound drivers. But it really uses Alsa. No, it's just a marketing piece. It's just a piece of shit. Okay? been breaking sound on Linux for well since it was introduced it made my uh, friend uh, quit Linux because Pulse Audio anyway he just interrupts 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 and he just the, the, the guy on stage is just dejected he's like shit it's not he you know he, he hits him back with some of the points but eventually was some asshole gave Leonard Pottering that microphone and because the guy on stage would get fired if he just 
punched Leonard Potter in the stomach a few times, knocked the wind out of him, and said, you know, this is my presentation. Get the fuck out of here, you faggot piece of shit. Now let's get on to that. Mr. Potter in... Well... You know, uh, the thing we had, we still have, before this System D crap... It was and is called System V. System V. You know, it 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 didn't do too many things. Started some things up, reap zombies. Two things good, you know, passable. And then then got out of your way. And System V, you controlled System V. When System V uh, wasn't working so well, you got in there and you slapped it around, you know, you controlled it. Some people say, you know, it was like a girl or a woman. You controlled it. You were the man. Now what we got, what we have, is System Motherfucking D. Why did he decide to call it System D? Obviously he knows the one before it, System V, so now he calls it System D. And System D, it doesn't get out of your way. You have to make sure you make the directory slash USR, make that all good with System D. You have to make sure your fstab file, the file it says about how to, uh, how and what file systems to mount, you have to make sure you do it the System D's way. System V didn't care about FSTAB or anything like that. You know. If you have something that, you know, a file system that isn't, you know, connected at that point, you know, just, it'll just ignore it, you know. System D, it just halts. HALT! Achtung! You know, warning! You might not know this, but, uh, you know, you're... A portable file system on a you know USB drive or something. Oh shit! Well, that's not there. Now you have to correct that. Yeah. Everything has to be System D's way. And you notice that System D is being shoved down on neck, shoved down our throat, and choking on System D, We're choking on it. <laughs> shit, man. And e- everything. System D ain't just System D. It comes with a lot of other stuff. You know, it gets in and just pumps you full of crap. That's System D. It's also uh, very insecure by design. System V, V, the previous system, I'll just call it Sys V. That kind of makes sense. Sys, it's like a girl. Does what you tell it to do, or you just get in there and you you force it to, and you can do that with Sys V. Simple, does one or two things. Now uh, with System D, you you can communicate with it through the network. So you have this thing that's always running. Well, another thing that's always running, the kernel's always running, and there's uh, there's remote root exploits in that about every release. Now you can mitigate that sometimes with the GR security and packs, patches to the kernel, which of course are not included in the <coughs> Linux kernel because uh, Mr. Mr. Linus Trovalds doesn't like black and white people. Yeah, that's a good uh, reason not to have any good security in the kernel, but whatever. Oh, Linus Trovold married a fat woman, and she was fat when he married her. That's strange. The one thing in life that might make you happy, you just throw that away too. That's strange, but you know, strange people. But, uh, you know, at least Bill Gates, he got somewhat of a passable woman. I mean, 
Yeah, she's all kind of old now, but at least, you know, she doesn't look terrible. It's like, you know, Bill, hey, you could have made your own uh, country and done what you want, but, you know, uh, kind of normal. All right, so System D, you can communicate it with many ways, which means you can crack that thing many ways. Just throw random data at its interfaces. Eventually you'll crash it. When you crash it, you know there's likely an exploitable bug there. And then you can exploit it. Pretty much any bug in a program, especially one that causes a crash, can be exploited. You have to be God. Or have a very simple program. Now the thing SysV is very simple. Do not have remote exploits in it. Or on a shell system, local exploits will do it too. Now, uh, another thing. You ever read what Leonard Pondering says to people? Basically, he, uh, he likes to order around people using his software. And most of these people, well, they happen to be men. I never heard Mr. Leonard Potterin talking about how he likes a woman or a young girl or anything like that. Never heard that. I have heard Mr. Leonard Potterin telling all of us males that we gonna have to use his system. That oh, he, I remember <laughs> he was talking to the Gintu crowd. He was saying, this is a warning to you. And then he goes on to talking about how, since he owns uh, UDEV with his ass buddy, K of Seavers. It's kind of weird. I think K of Seavers is the bottom in this situation, and Leonard Pottering is the top fag in this situation here. It's kind of weird, because Pottering is... He's, he looks like a pipsqueak, you know. But I, you know, I guess the strange business, the software world, really, really strange people in it. So he's just ordering everyone around. He says, and then he says, like to the kernel people, almost like, you know, when we get Ku Dev into the kernel. So he, you know, he's gonna force everyone to use system D. Uh, he just likes to dominate other males. That's what, he, this is how he does it. He doesn't have another way to do it. He can't go, you know, beat people into submission because he would get his nose broken and probably, you know, lose the, the ability to, uh, you know, process blood and stuff, you know. Because you just get punched in the stomach like a thousand times, and that would be it. He'd have to get new kidneys. And you know, <clears throat> he doesn't want to do that. He's not so dumb to actually go up against someone when there isn't police that'll back him up, or that person won't get fired from a job. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's 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 the situation.